guys hope everybody's doing well heading out to a service call today i'm bringing y'all along with me and the clients have told us that they have a high power bill and that the system doesn't seem to be working like it should so i'm gonna head out and take a look see what we find stay tuned guys all right guys i'm here at the call i have it turned on inside the thermostat i'm out at the outdoor unit it's an acro air an older one and there, the complaint is it's pulling too much power, making the power bill too high, is what I've been told. So we're just gonna give this thing a, a thorough check and uh, see if we can find anything wrong with it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, checking refrigerant charge to start. And we have a 2011 Acro Air. It is a heat pump, 410A refrigerant. All right, y'all. Got my gauges hooked up, checking pressures. And here's what they look like to start here. R410A, like I said. Head is a little high. Suction is a little low. Superheat subcool will look a little off as well, so everything looks just a little bit off. Let's um let's go into the air handler. Check it out in there. Alright guys, so I'm in the crawl space. Nice plastic down. Ain't a bad one. And I'm in here, it is a zone system. I did not realize that um before i got in here but we have uh two zones there must be another one for upstairs which is a smaller upstairs but i just my first initial look in here right down there's the air handler but here is the supply plenum and i want y'all to look at that right there that is just tape there's no duct board and it is broke it just come apart and see it's just spilling air spilling air out so that is definitely contributing just losing a ton of supplier right here and this hack job of a patch or this is so probably gonna try to at least just fix this for now so it'll quit leaking air and then probably quote them to come and just either replace this supply plenum or um, do a much better patch job so that's the first thing I find guys pretty ridiculous all right so I'm up farther up on the supply plenum y'all can see that cobweb moving so we have an air leak right there got air just seeping all around this supply plenum and this door this door is not on good you can see this so that's leaking air so so far I'm just seeing a lot of just leaking air I think is contributing a big factor to this guys probably creating very long run times so I'm gonna pop this door open and check a few things and then as of right now we're gonna be uh, patching some air leaks all right guys I got the door off basically all I'm doing I'm gonna check you know the amp draw of the blower motor and I'm also gonna make sure which I don't think they are but just make sure the heat kit the heat strips is not on so that's the first thing I'll check here They are not. So the heat kit is not on. So I'm going to check. This is an X13 blower motor. One point four. That's good. That ain't no concern for me. Good. I did check the cool from the other side and it did look clean so so now guys I'm just gonna proceed with patching 
this plenum and uh, then going and checking my pressures again. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, I got my tape, got my adhesive, and I'm gonna somewhat fix this. Look at that. Horrible, horrible. I'm gonna uh, try to somewhat get this to stop air leaking um, until something better can be done about this. So here go, here we go. leak anymore. It's going to be very efficient, but it's at least not going to leak into this crawl space. guys so I've got her patched up on this end so it's a lot better than it was and there ain't no air leaking so we're gonna move on down toward the unit and um, patch down there
right guys that takes care of that spot no more leak over here so I'm gonna move on back toward the return side I wanted to show y'all something else I'm gonna fix all right guys so I'm back on the return end of this unit as you can see the filters are upstairs in the house as you can see this little slit there's usually a little piece of metal slide with slide pieces on it that goes right here and that is missing and uh, this is a no-no because basically what it's doing it's pulling in crawl space air right in through there into the coil up through the supply which is adding humidity this to the system and it's a little part where it's pulling in return air where it's unfiltered so this is a no-no so I don't know where the piece went we're gonna patch this with tape so it will quit pulling in this air so here we go guys so I got that patched up and all the air leaks are patched as far as I could find so we are going to go outside check pressures and uh, I'm gonna go get a Delta T finish this thing up It is, yes sir. Hey guys, just finished that one up. Um, Y'all seen what I had to do there, patch some air leaks. And um, that system is back cooling good. And basically their power bill was running up due to the long run times of that system is what I come to determine. And um, since I patched the leak, I monitored it for a pretty good run time and compared to when I got here and when I tested the last time, I'd say it probably cut um, the run time in half, if not more. So I'm happy with that. They should definitely see a difference in the power usage. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy we was able to find something for them to fix. I'd say they were losing about 50% of their supply air with that one leak, but it's all back together now. Um, they're probably gonna eventually just upgrade the whole duct system. So we're gonna hold off on any other permanent repairs at this time. But anyway, that takes care of this one, guys. I also wanted to just mention to y'all, basically just to say thank you. Thank y'all so much. I did, uh, I hit uh, 1,000 subscribers the other day and I am just ecstatic and I'm just so thrilled with all the support y'all have shown. And um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you guys. I sure do appreciate it, and um, I'm glad y'all like my stuff, and I'm gonna continue to keep a keep it on coming, and uh, keep churning them, churning out them videos for y'all. So, y'all stay tuned for more. Um, we're gonna head on to the next one. Thanks for watching.